There's so many fishing boats on the market, some for offshore, some for inshore, some for shallow waters. Whatever your needs are, there's a boat for you. <laughs> Today we'll be talking about the top five fishing boats, 25 feet and under. What's up guys, it's Life Offshore. If you like the marine world, drop a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. This list can go in a lot of different ways. Normally the bigger the boat, the better but sometimes that isn't the case. And trying to keep the boats as close to 25 feet as possible is a way to go about making this list, but we're going to diversify the list a bit. It might include a shallow water boat, inshore boat, bay boat, offshore boat. And two things I'll mention before we get into this list is that this list will contain any boat that's considered a 25 footer. So if it's 25 feet and some inches, it'll count as a 25 footer on this list. At number five on this list, we're gonna start off with the smallest boat, but it's a boat that allows for very shallow water fishing and for those guys that love to fish in those backcountry spots. It wouldn't be a good list if I only chose the biggest offshore boats as there's many different types of fishing. It's not just offshore fishing. It's a 20 foot beaver tail. The reason I went with this boat over let's say a Hells Bay 18 or a Maverick 18 is because it has the extra length and it's just an overall bigger boat than those other two I mentioned. And it just didn't really feel right putting an 18 footer on this list. With this 20 foot beaver tail, not only can you access very shallow fishing spots, but at 20 feet in length, it can also take a decent sized chop and you can fish the shorelines. And when the weather permits, you can venture off a bit more offshore than let's say uh, an 18 foot boat. It's 20 feet in length and has a six foot 10 inch beam and has a draft of only 10 inches. It also has a max horsepower rating of 300, so it has a top speed of 70 miles per hour. It's got a 35 gallon live well, 48 gallons of fuel, and it has a starting price with a Suzuki 150 horsepower outboard of around $65,000. At number four is a Regulator 23. This is the second best boat on this list if you strictly want it for going offshore fishing. But the reason it's on the back end of this list is because it's not a good inshore fishing boat as the draft is two feet nine inches with the engines down. And since it isn't a big boat, relatively speaking, there is limits to going offshore with this rig when the weather isn't favorable. It's 23 feet, five inches in length. Plus it has the platform in the back, which would really give it an extra two feet to three feet in length. It has a beam of eight feet, six inches. What makes it a good offshore boat is its dead rise and its weight. It has a 24 degree dead rise, which will help slice through the waves and it has a dry weight of 7,120 pounds, which is very heavy for a boat this size. It has a 46 gallon live well. For this boat in particular, I would recommend going with twin outboards rather than a bigger single outboard. You'll spend most of your time offshore and having an extra outboard can give you the peace of mind and reliability to make it back home. This 23 regulator has a starting price of $200,000. At number three, we have a 2500 Pathfinder. It's the first hybrid on this list. For those of you that don't know what a hybrid is, it's basically an in-between of an inshore boat and an offshore boat. It's capable of going in pretty shallow waters, but also can take you offshore. It has a length of 24 feet, nine inches and a beam of eight feet, six inches. It drafts in 13 inches of water and has a dead rise of 16 degrees. It has a fuel capacity of 78 gallons and has a 35 gallon live well. The starting price is $112,000. At number two, we have a Yellowfin 24. It's the first bay boat on this list. A bay boat is more for inshore use, but when the weather is decent, you can still go offshore with the boat. But nonetheless, it's more geared for inshore fishing. It has an overall length of 24 feet, 10 inches, and a beam of eight feet, six inches, and has a fuel capacity of 72 gallons. It drafts in 14 inches of water, so it allows you to still fish relatively skinny waters. It has a 50 gallon live well, and this is personally my favorite boat on this list, since right now I'm really, really appreciating the ease of bay boats. They're so easy to maintain, to clean, to trailer, to maneuver, and to me, they're the best looking fishing center console boats on the market. And at number one on this list is a Contender 25T. Regardless of size, Contender is one of the best fishing boats you can buy on the market. This boat has a 24 and a half degree dead rise, which makes it great for riding offshore, but it's not the most stable boat on this list when the boat's not moving. There's always pros and cons to having so much dead rise, 
but in my opinion this is the best and most capable offshore fishing boat on this list it's 25 feet 3 inches in length and has an 8 foot 6 inch beam it drops in 18 inches of water and has a loaded weight of 6250 pounds it has a 145 gallon fuel capacity and a 40 gallon live well to me a good setup for this boat is twin 200 horsepower outboards if you're looking at a boat like this it will be around the $200,000 range depending on some of your options. That about wraps it up for this video guys. I want you to comment below what boats you think I left out on this list. What's your favorite boat on this list? Or what's your favorite boat in general? But until next time, you can catch me offshore.